So I'm with Tony Pereira. Tony is a VP Business Accelerator at Mitel. What does that mean, Business Accelerator? That's a great question. So what it means is uh, look at look for new opportunities, uh, new areas where Mitel can you know get in and drive new new segments. Uh, look at adjacent markets uh, and really you know go out there and look for synergies that Mitel can build on. Uh, so it could be in the areas of collaboration, in the areas of IoT, in the contact center. So it's a it's a it's a it's a wide remit, but really looking for where we can take one and add Mitel and make it three. Um, so those are those that's fundamentally you know, looking for value adding, uh, adding to what Mitel does, increasing the you know Mitel's market position and Mitel's market you know reach. So we were talking before, and I know IoT is one of the areas that you're looking at. So tell me a little bit about Mitel and IoT. So Mitel actually is uh, very, very keen to get into this IoT space because it matches our market segments that we play in. So mid-market, uh, large enterprise, you know, place in the enterprise space, the hybrid space, and the cloud space. So we started uh, the IoT initiative uh, right back end of last year, starting to look at the market, looking at the industry, and one of our partners that we work very closely with in, in Paris, uh, Hub One. Uh, the CEO is Patrice Belli, uh, actually, you know, uh, engaged with us and said, "Yeah, let's develop a partnership. You know, let's let's both learn together and understand where IoT and UC can intersect." And you know, obviously, Mitel. One of the things we are pushing is how do we enable, uh, you know, IoT machines and give them a voice. And uh, this was very interesting because mainly IoT systems typically, you know, look at uh, events. But then what do you do with the event? You know, yeah, you can send an SMS or you can send a text message. But sometimes you need to take IoT and connect it, the sensor, to a live human. Maybe it's a technician. Maybe it's an expert. Maybe it's somebody in security who can immediately respond. So what we said is, you know, our focus will be how do we connect the world of IoT to the world of UC? And this is where Mitel excels because Mitel understands workflows. Mitel understands the connection between the machine world and the human world. So powering those connections, making it easy, demystifying it, making it you know simple. Uh, that's that's really our objective. So you know, we want to make IoT real in in the real world. Uh, we don't want IoT to just be a science project. We want it to be something that benefits uh, customers and partners. You know, either create new value, new revenues reduce cost, improve efficiency, transform their business so they can provide better service for their customers. Customers can excel at getting you know, great service from their uh, you know, vendors. So that's, that's really what I'm really, we're trying to drive with IoT. The other big market opportunity these days is AI. What's Mitel doing in AI? So AI is a very, it's an emerging space. Um, we hear a lot about, you know, Watson and, you know, how that's helping healthcare. So we're probing into, you know, new, new, new development, new initiatives, new startups that have got very interesting AI capabilities, you know, putting AI into machines that can do autonomous, uh, you know, capabilities so you can reduce the, the bandwidth that you take from the machine back into the network. Let the machine be more autonomous. Let it provide you with the payloads, the data that you can transport over low uh, bit rates and you know low and conserve power. And also, you know, find ways of connecting you know uh, information into databases to automate service. Uh, so, how do you enable, say, key data through a collaboration app? Uh, you know, pick the data, look at say, say a license plate, and be able to go and dip into a database and provide the information immediately within seconds. You know, so then you know the you know somebody in, say in in, law, in in the law enforcement area can respond to it, or a doctor you know who can use the AI engine to allow patients to interact and uh, provide all the symptoms, and then the AI engine can then escalate say to the doctor and say, hey, you know, you need to call this patient and treat them because this is something that's beyond, you know, a, a flu virus or a cough. So AI can help take the load off because, you know, everybody's stressed. Everybody's got too much on their plate and they don't have enough time. There's not enough people. So with AI and intelligent interaction with good databases, you can provide great service and automate it and then escalate the critical ones to live humans. So managing, connecting, driving those workflows is, is what we're looking at. Are there any other market opportunities that you're looking at in your group? Yeah, I mean, my my mind is always open. Mm -hmm. You know, I get uh, pushed into, you know, and I get you know, requests from any of the senior team in Mitel to say, you know, to go look at new areas. So I'm, all, I'm constantly on the on the hunt for new opportunities where, you know, Mitel can add, you know, value. Uh, and sometimes the danger is you end up with too many science projects. So I've got to be careful that I don't create too many science projects. And so I, I have to filter it. 
I have to prioritize it and really look at you know potential value, uh, future value, and growth. So you know, I use that as a kind of a benchmark and a metric to guide me into areas. And then I have to extend that to the wider team in Mitel and pull in the right people to help you know look, review, uh, and make sure that what we do as a team actually benefits the company as a whole. So yeah, I'm, and in a way, you know, I'm on the leading edge, you know, looking at opportunities that we can bring back into the company, and then you know har harvest that opportunity for the greater greater benefit of our customers, our partners, and ourselves. Excellent. Well, thank, thank you so much, Johnny. Great. <laughs>